the studios of the Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association in Fort Myers, Florida. This is the Royal Palmcast, the show about people and things that realtors, home buyers, and home sellers care about. And now, here's your host, Jim Sanville. Welcome to the Royal Palmcast. This is Jim Sanville, your host. And you're listening to, as I said, the Royal Palmcast. This is the show about realtors, about things realtors care about, and uh, home buyers and home sellers, stuff they're interested in as well. On today's show, we are pleased to welcome uh, one of our own. This is Kevin Besserer is with us today. Welcome, Kevin. Hey, Jim. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Now, Kevin is our Director of Public Policy. Correct. Is your official title. I've heard you called several things around <laughs> here. Adv- the word advocate comes up from time to time, but I know Lobbyist is another one that gets thrown around a lobbyist, lot. Lobbyist. You're a lobbyist. So Kevin is actually brand new to the organization. And uh, it's his job to make sure that the, the voice of the realtor is heard at uh, the government level, at the ver- all the levels of government, and uh, I suppose with other uh, entities as well. We'll get into that in just a moment. But uh, again, Kevin, tell me about yourself. Where are you from and what's your background? Okay, so um, I actually grew up in Northern Virginia, right outside of the D.C. metro area. Um, I moved down to Florida in 2013 to work for Governor Scott. Before that, I did a lot of campaign politics on the Republican side. I, I did a, a governor's election in Virginia and a lieutenant governor's election in Virginia. And then I worked um, for Mitt Romney's 2012 presidential campaign as well. And um, in the governor's office, I, I did constituent services and I did some advanced work for the governor. So when, when he would go out and travel and go to events, I would go ahead of him and uh, make sure everything was set up and plan those out for him. And then I worked in the uh, Governor Scott's reelection campaign, now Senator Scott. Um, in 2014, uh, after we won that election, which was a hard-fought, long, long race uh, against former Governor Charlie Chris, uh, I worked in legislative affairs at the Florida Department of Transportation in the North Florida area. I, I basically worked with legislators uh, who were having issues with transportation on uh, the department. Basically, if they had a timing off and a light or if a bridge was stuck or something like that in a the neighborhood, they would, they would come to me and I would help uh, facilitate fixing those problems. And ever since, after that, I've been, the last five and a half years, I was at Florida Realtors as the regional director of uh, public policy and advocacy. And I covered from Pasco County all the way down to Naples. So about 20% of the statewide membership of Florida Realtors, which is about 190,000 members. And um, I did local government lobbying. I actually helped my predecessor, Chris Lopez, out on a couple of issues. And I did RPAC fundraising and anything really that I could do to help the local associations um, to, do, to complete their public policy goals. So here's what I'm hearing, Kevin. You are a political guy. I am. <laughs> now, do you suppose that comes from your uh, your proximity to Washington, D.C., growing up? Yeah, I, I grew up in the bubble. I grew up in the Beltway. Um, my great-grandmother was uh, was worked in the White House as an interior decorator. Really? Um, my great-grandfather worked in the FBI. My grandmother worked um, at the U.S. Park Police. So it's a, it's a company town, and everyone works for the same company, sure. and that, that company is the federal government. So yeah, you kind of yeah. get get swept up into it. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Well, we're glad to have you down here in, in southwest Florida in Fort Myers, where our Realtor Association is located. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, what exactly you do. What, what does a day look like for you? Uh, you're a busy guy. It's hard to nail you down. It was tough to get you for a podcast uh, in today. You were one of the toughest gets we've had, i got to be <laughs> honest with you, but I think well worth it. So what, what, do, you, what do you do I exactly? I think that's the funny thing. My day changes every single day. Um, yesterday, I was actually, I took some meetings with some county commissioners and some some uh, some members of the Fort Myers City Council, really just getting to know them. I've only been on, been on staff here for a month, so I'm really just draw, just digging down and, and meeting these people and, and getting to know them so we can work together in the future. Um, before that, the last three days, I've been in, actually up in Tallahassee advocating for some of our issues with our members. Mm-hmm. And um, even last week, I was back up in Tallahassee advocating for our issues with our members. So uh, it is tough. I, every day is different, and that's why it's fun. I, have, I think I have a fun job that I'm not really nailed down every day. Every day is a new day, so it's exciting. So you, you mentioned that you met with uh, county commissioners, Lee County commissioners, yesterday here in uh, Fort Myers. What? So you, you sit down for lunch, have conversation. What does that look yeah, like? Yeah, we really just sat down for lunch and trying to get to know each other. Um, 
you know, as a, as a lobbyist for the association, my job is to advocate for our issues. But the only way I can really do that effectively is if I have a nice working relationship with, with the members of the local governments. And that's in here in Lee and Hendry County. So what we cover here in our jurisdiction is the city of Cape Coral, the city of Fort Myers, um, Fort Myers Beach, and uh, Lee County and Hendry County as a whole. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm trying to get to know all those people, say hello, let them get to know me that I'm here and um, that I'm the advocate for the association. So you, you're working clearly at the uh, local, the municipal level, the county level, uh, and also at the state level? Yeah, we, like I said, we just got back from Tallahassee advocating for issues, and that's what I did um, beforehand at Florida Realtors. I, I really helped advocate uh, on issues on, vac- on vacation rentals. It's one of the issues that I'm, I'm really a, a subject matter expert in. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know a lot about that and worked on that issue. And, yeah, my main goal right now is to meet all the local elected officials. As I've come from the state level. I don't know them all personally, so that's, um, that's a big goal of mine re- coming up. Now, you're clearly very familiar with our congressional delegation. I am. What, what kind of interaction do you expect to have with them? Well, now that we have a retiring congressman, um, it's going to be an interesting uh, interaction I'm going to have with them. We're actually the association is going to is going to work after the after the primary to screen the next congressman from Southwest Florida, which is a a huge job that our members have is to question and interview these candidates and find out how what, how they feel about our real estate issues and what's important to them so we can really get to know them. They're going to be an advocate for us from Washington. So I hope to have a, a really great working relationship with the Congress. And once we find out who that Congress is going to be, uh, we've got a nine-way Republican primary right now, and that could change any day. It could become a 10-way or an 11-way primary. Um, and the Democrats, will, I'm sure, will field another uh, a strong candidate on their side as well. Once in a while, you hear about uh, lawmakers who are also realtors. Do we have any of those in the mix? Um, in the yes, we actually do have a candidate. Um, state State Representative Dane Eagle is a member of the real estate is a member of the Art Association and works in the real estate business. He's running for Congress. Um, I believe I believe he's the only realtor in the race, but I'd have to go back and check. I'm not totally mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Do you get a sense that the current congressional delegation gets it? They they understand what the issues are that realtors are are faced with. I do. I think that the National Association of Realtors, who, who you know we kind of fall under, um, is the largest trade organization in, in in the country. They have a great lobbying team who are get to mem- get to know the legislators and our members across the country. All do interviews just like we're going to do for our next congressman. They all get to know their congressman, and um, we we have a great working relationship with Congress. Um, so it's, it's good for our industry. So do you envision yourself uh, tramping the halls of Congress from time to time? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I mean, when we're up there for D.C. for in May meetings, but I don't see yeah, myself yeah. as a I let NAR take care of that stuff for us. Not a Capitol Hill kind of guy. Huh? Yeah. Not, yeah. OK. Gotcha. Uh, tell me about the 2020 agenda, Kevin. What what are the issues that you're you're that are front and center for you? The 2020 agenda is is for for locally and state is is really almost the same. One of the biggest issues we have, uh, especially here in Florida, is vacation rentals. Um, we have a lot of property managers as members of the association, and we as realtors are the advocates for private property rights. Now, does, uh, vacation rentals does that include Airbnb? Yes, Verbo, Verbo, Airbnb, HomeAway. Those are some of the platforms that market vacation rentals, just like our members market vacation rentals. So they're kind of our partners in this org- in this policy arena. And basically what we've seen a lot is local governments who have tried really hard to um, en- enact legislation that makes it harder for you to do rentals. A lot of these times we, we see these ordinances that have increased registration fees, inspections, things like that, that are really just against your own private property rights. You as a homeowner should be able to do and do with your home with what, as much as you feel without the government coming in and, and in inspecting your home or you having to pay five, six hundred dollars to register your home. Sometimes we've seen ordinances that even show what time of hours you can use your pool, mm. which is crazy to me. Yeah. Um, so that's a huge issue we have locally that we're working on and affordable housing. Southwest Florida is growing so fast um, and, and housing is is expensive down here. We have a lot of uh, teachers and, and nurses and firefighters who work here in Fort Myers and in Cape Coral who have to live in, in Charlotte or Hendry County because they can't afford to live here. So affordable housing is a huge issue for us that mm-hmm. we're working on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, it's a big issue nationally. I see that uh, NAR uh, recently got into the, into the uh, fray with that and uh, pushing Congress for some uh, legislative relief, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, they have. And, and so is Florida Realtors. Florida Realtors is, is the main advocate for um, the Sadowski Housing Trust Funds that are actually funded by doc stamps. 
stock stamp taxes that are every on uh, come through on every transaction that our members do. A portion of that funding goes to funding the Sadowski trust funds. Those trust funds are used to help build affordable housing projects. And the main thing that they do is is down payment assistance and closing cost assistance. We have a lot of people across the across the area who can afford to own a home and ha- are already paying rent that it's probably more expensive than a mortgage, but they just really don't have t- the ability to save money to do clo- to have them pay their closing costs or to have down payments. So that's really the the hardest, that's the biggest thing that the Sadowski trust funds do. Mm. Now I notice that in the private sector, uh, developers are tending to build more luxury type apartments than than affordable housing units. W- w- th- sur- surely that market is saturated. Yeah, it is. The, the The thing is, we we have to help give developers a reason to build affordable housing. We have to help them. A lot of times there's so much government regulation and, and building an affordable housing project that we need to work with them and get funds and work with the government to make it easier for them to do. A lot of these developers want to build affordable housing programs. They just don't have the space to do it. Florida Realtors is actually working on a bill this year that will allow affordable housing projects to be built in industrial areas, areas that are zoned for industrial and other areas in, in local governments in the city that normally wouldn't build them. So mm-hmm. it really gotcha. lowers those regulations. Gotcha. All right, what's going on with water quality? That's obviously a big, big factor in the local economy. And Water quality is a huge issue here in Southwest Florida, as you know. Um, um, we, last year, the governor got $625 million for water quality projects that really helped up clean the Caloosahatchee River. Um, knock on wood that we haven't had any algae blooms or red tide this year. And I know that the governor is advocating for an, another record year in funding for water pro- quality projects. Mm. Okay, good. Hopefully that uh, those issues won't come back as they were here a couple of years ago. I wasn't here, but I understand it was not a good situation. It, it wasn't a good situation. And, you know, a lot of our members, what they do is they sell the water. People come down here from the north and they want to retire and they want to have a second home. Um, and who wants to buy a second home when there's there's dead fish in, their back, in the back canal? Yeah. So it's really important that we keep our water clean. And when you look at an area like Cape Coral with 400 miles of navigable canals, then, yeah, it's a huge, huge local issue. Mm-hmm. All right. So what kind of progress have we seen uh, the office of our public policy director here at the association make over the past few years? What what, what can we chalk up to the good efforts of you Well, folks? we have a I, I have big shoes to fill. My predecessor who worked really hard over the years on a lot of issues. Um, he's very involved in the local community. He really worked hard on those water quality issues over the years. And especially, on vaca- again, on vacation rentals. He, I know he worked really hard with the city of Fort Myers Beach and, and the city of Fort Myers to start stop rental regulations regulations in Fort Myers. Uh, so I've got big shoes to fill from Chris, who's done a lot of things uh, that have been great for our association. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, we miss Chris around here. He was uh, an office favorite and big shoes to fill. I do. I'm, I'm working. I'm trying my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's a good guy and he's gone on to, to other things and we wish him the best. So uh, what do you see as issues that are sort of on the horizon that uh, may percolate up over the coming years? You know, it's hard to say what what's on the horizon. We have our entire delegation in Southwest Florida in the State House and Senate is going to change in this year, uh, except for one person who's who's moving on from the House to the Senate. Everyone else is either running for another office or retiring. Um, so that in itself could cr- create different things on the horizon. I'm always looking for private property rights issues and affordable housing issues. Obviously, the water quality is going to continue to be an issue for us that we're going to continue to watch over as long as... The, we don't have the full funding to finish the Everglades restoration project. We're going to be watching that issue. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, you know, the issues come in, come up as local governments can find. I, I actually sit on a National Association of Realtors committee. It's called the State and Local Issues Committee. And that committee, what they do is they sit and actually find other issues from other states and other local governments and we find it we build basically build a national platform to get their information out yeah. uh so i'm seeing a lot of things in california that scare scare me to death but luckily we won't have so luckily uh with our government here in florida we probably won't have a lot of those issues like rent control right. uh rent control is illegal in florida so we're we're real cave right there yeah yeah california is a very different animal from any place else really you know i i heard a joke before all all bad policy ideas start in california California or South Florida. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'll put that into my uh, repertoire. That's a good one. Not quite a dad joke, but I think it'll get some chuckles. It's a a lobbyist joke. In certain circles. (laughs) 
<laughs> so, Kevin, tell me, uh, we have 7,000 plus members here mm-hmm. who are realtors, brokers, and other professionals. What kind of input do they provide to you in setting the direction for, for your agenda? Well, our, you know, this is a member-driven organization, so I really take all my lead from the members. When there's a local issue that I think impacts the real estate, is- the real estate industry as a whole, I'll bring that to our public policy committee who really vets that issue. And we'll bring in subject matter experts um, on both sides of the issue and discuss the, discuss what's going on. And after that, I'll really let them make a decision on how they want to proceed if, and how they want me to advocate for that issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, the board of directors will also take a look. And then I kind of go from there. I take my lead from the members. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, any realtor member who's out there listening, uh, if they want to provide input on anything, they can simply oh, send me an email I'm at, and, or come and stop by the office. I'm, I'm here to chat. Yeah, so it's Kevin at rpcra.org. That's correct. O-R-G. And, uh, yeah, we're here on Winkler Avenue as where your office is. We have three offices, but you're on Winkler Avenue. I'm on Winkler Avenue most of the time, but I pop in in Cape Coral every once in a while. Yeah, yeah we got a lot of, lot of activity at that office. Good stuff going on there. So I can tell by the clock on the wall that we are coming up on a break. Jerry's giving me the signal. He's frantically gesturing to calm down, stop it, stop talking, Jim. So I'm going to do that. Again, I want to remind you that we are talking with Kevin Besserer. Kevin is our uh, director of public policy here at the Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association in Fort Myers, Florida. And we will be right back with more from Kevin after this. Hi, I'm Bill Risser, and you're listening to the Royal Palmcast with Jim and Jerry. This place is amazing. Hi, I'm Jennifer DeRocher, and you're listening to the Royal Palmcast. Hi, I'm Jason Jacobs, and you're listening to the Royal Palmcast. I'm going to make you a star. I'm ready. Where do I sign? Well, before you sign on the dotted line, let me tell you more. Listening? The Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association is looking for members who think they have what it takes to participate in video segments or other media production for the association. Upcoming events, classes, special projects, things like that. I've been told I have a certain star quality. I believe it. Yeah, so what's my next step? It's easy. Just send an email to shows at rpcra.org with the word audition in the subject line. Simple. We'll reply with all the details, requirements, and forms you need for your audition. We'll review your information and let you know if you fit the part. But keep in mind, this is a real commitment. Writing, rehearsing, you gotta know your lines, recording dates, and real deadlines. And not everyone can be a star, you know. We're looking for actual writing and video samples. So email us today for your audition. Already doing it. Is green screen one word or two? (laughs) You do have a certain quality. Ambition. Can't talk now. Got to get ready for my screen test. Um, how much does this pay, anyway, asking for a friend? Well, it's uh, strictly a volunteer gig, but it's a great opportunity to get your name out there and may even help you build your business. That'll work. Uh, for my friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you have what it takes to appear on camera in our productions, we want to hear from you. Any member in good standing who's interested and can meet the commitments and deadlines is encouraged to apply. Go to the RPCRA Facebook page or watch your member weekly update for more information. We'll follow up with you and may even schedule an on-camera audition in our Winkler Avenue studio. We will also ask to see or hear samples of your past work on camera, microphone, or in print. In Lee County Real Estate News Today, single-family home sales are up 11%. Brother. We hope you're enjoying the Royal Palmcast, a production of the Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association, your association for realtor services, resources, and education. We are committed to the success of all of our members and advocate for property rights, both residential and commercial, as we continue our efforts in participating and influencing public policy on local, state, and national levels. Your association also leads the way with community involvement, member engagement, promoting the use of local, state, and national benefits, and more, all of which helps provide a superior Realtor experience. With three locations in Fort Myers, Cape Coral, and South Fort Myers, the staff of RPCRA is here for you. Visit our website at rpcra.org and make sure to find us on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media for valuable information on upcoming classes and events. Now back to Jim Sandville and the Royal Palmcast. Cast. 
Welcome back. Welcome back to the Royal Palmcast. I am Jim Sandville here today with Kevin Besserer, B-E-S-S-E-R-E-R. That's that, correct. That's not a name you hear every day. It's not. It's a German or, origin. Um, uh-huh. My family, my, my dad's family kind of came from, comes from uh, from French Canada. So actually, the original spelling is Bessemer, M-E-R. M E R, but as they got to French, can- emigrated to French Canada in the 1700s, it kind of changed to Besserer. I always think of Joe Besser from, <laughs> from the Stooges. Yeah, I, I bet he was a Besserer and he dropped off the <laughs> Probably list. Probably so. Who knows? Who knows? So, anyway, Kevin is the director of public policy here at the Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association of Fort Myers. He's talking to us today about what he does and uh, what, what kind of. Uh, Uh, results he's gotten uh, as an advocate for the organization at a political level and otherwise. And uh, one of the things you uh, were doing recently, Kevin, just this week, you were up in Tallahassee for the Great American Realtor Days, right? Correct. What was that all about? So Great American Realtor Days is a event that Florida Realtors um, sponsors every year when thousands of realtors from across Florida, all the local associations, drive up to Tallahassee and we advocate for our issues for that year um you know it's great for these for the um legislators to hear from our lobbyists which who are working in florida real for working for florida realtors all the time advocating for our issues but really what makes an impact to a legislator is not hearing from a lobbyist it's actually hearing from the people that affects day-to-day their lives and their businesses so it's a huge opportunity for our members to go up go up to tallahassee first off see the political process some of them you know maybe have never seen it before or even been a part of it mm-hmm. so they get to go and be a part of the process advocate for their issues and really watch how the sausage and sausage is made with the <laughs> legislation legislative process um, and we took about 25 members up there uh, every year we take a bus mm-hmm. it's a really fun atmosphere we, we pack a lunch and we drive up to Tallahassee that day on Monday um, and there's a reception for Florida Realtors that afternoon and then we actually held our own reception every year so that's fun as well and then Tuesday, we get up bright and early, and we hit the we hit the Capitol running, and we uh, set meetings with all of our local legislators, um, and talk about all of our issues that are important to us. And, and we have key contacts who are who are the Florida Realtors representative for the uh, for the membership, who really have relationship with these legislators, right. and you know are friends with them, and can give them a call and say, hey, this is a really important issue for Florida Realtors and and for and for Royal Palm Coast Realtors. Can you you know give me a Give me a call or shoot me a text. We can chat about this issue. And that's really an important important thing for the legislator to have a member-to-member contact. Are there specific uh, accomplishments that uh, you feel you made in this trip? Yeah, I, I think that some of the accomplishments we've we had – Two new new members or members who have been involved before but have never attended guard before, and they seem to have really enjoyed their time and, and came across and really want to get now would get more involved in the political process and with what the association does. So I think that, I think that was a huge uh, huge win for the association getting more members involved. Well, any trip that involves a party bus, even if it's the realtor party <laughs> bus, uh, it's got to be a lot of fun. The so. party bus is a lot a lot of fun going up. Uh, on the way home, it's a little bit of a slog <laughs> as you've been been doing a long trip and it's seven it's a seven hour drive. We've got a long way from here from. Fort Myers uh, to Tallahassee, it's, but it's sounds, still a lot of fun. Sounds like the flight home from Vegas. It's never it's, as it's, it's, it's a lot like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. It sounds like a whirlwind week for you all. It was. Yeah. Hey, now, Kevin, and I think I warned you about this, we're coming to what, what I consider my favorite part of the program. This is the part where we really get to know you. We call okay. it the lightning round. All right. Uh, we brainstormed that name for months before we settled on it, and or we stole it from 25 other shows. I'm not sure which <laughs> one or the other, but this is the lightning round. This is where I'm going to ask you some questions about your personal favorites and where we, like I say, really get to know you. Okay, so, sounds good. And uh, in order to do this, uh, I have a set of official 3 by 5 game show host cards with the questions on it. Jerry's going to hand them to me. They've been in a super box in Lehigh Acres since noon last <laughs> Tuesday, and we went out on the way to work today and, and fetched them. I have them right here, Jim. You have them? Yes, one, two, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a little, did, did you get all of them? The, there you go. The, the pack feels a little light to me, Jerry. This is all of them? That's it. All right. I'll take your word for it. Okay, Kevin, I have the questions in my hand. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're looking for soundbite answers here. One, two, three, four, five okay, words. Okay, got something it. Something like that. So when's the last time you saw snow? Oh, uh, November. I was in Colorado for Thanksgiving, and uh, my sister lives out there in Denver, and we got 18 inches of snow in one night. Wow. <laughs> wow. You saw enough for the next five years. Exactly. Hey, if you didn't live in Florida, Kevin, where would you live? 
Oh, either in Denver or in D.C.? Denver, D.C.? <laughs> uh, now, the traffic in D.C.? That's not Traffic a- in D.C. Is, is just as bad as it is here during season. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dog guy. All right, this one is multiple choice. Okay. You guys, yous, or y'all? Oh, it depends on the situation. A lot of y'all most of the time. You, you do the politics. I'm thing. from Virginia, so y'all is Gotta usually be. the answer. Got to be, yeah. Okay, what's your go-to social media platform? Twitter. Twitter guy. And a lot of politics you on Twitter, get new, huh? I get all my I get my news and, and filter it all through Twitter. Twitter's the best. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff there. All right, what's your guilty pleasure? Um, reality television. Ooh. What's your, <laughs> what's your favorite? What do you like? Survivor. I think Survivor is... is just politics at its finest, really, and, and the human and the human emotions. I can see that. Yeah. Sure, sure. Now, tell me about some of your favorite things, Kevin. Your favorite TV show, Survivor. I, That's yeah, an, that you guys got that one. one. Yeah, favorite movie, um, Goldfinger. I'm a huge James Bond fan. Wow. Okay. Favorite food. Favorite food. Uh, I guess the easy answer is pizza. That's in mine too. What, what's your favorite day of the week? Friday. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people are, are Monday people. I actually, uh, Monday's not that bad either. Wednesday is, you know, probably one of the worst. You're really, okay, <laughs> gotcha. And not a hump day guy. What's your favorite uh, breakfast food? Uh, eggs. Your dream car. Oh, um, an Aston Martin DB9. Ooh, the Bond related. Yeah. Sure, sure. Favorite book. Favorite book. That's a good one. I haven't, I haven't. Oh, you know what? I just finished John Feinstein. I, I, I like to re- read a lot of sports books. I just finished his book on the Ryder Cup, and that was a. I've, I'm a huge golfer, so mm-hmm. that was that was a fun book. I like that uh, a lot. Okay. Your favorite holiday? Christmas. And your favorite form of recreation? Golf. Got it. All right. Changing the subject here, just okay. uh, just a little bit. Socks with sandals? Yes or no? No. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Never. Who's your personal hero? Oh, that's a really good one. I was not expecting that one. My grandfather. Uh, do you do any imitations? Imitate? No, I'm not good at imitations. All right. If you did, I was going to ask you to do it. <laughs> I won't put you on the spot here. Okay. I hold in my hand the last lightning round question. Here it is. It's kind of stuck to one behind it there. I got it. Okay. You get one bucket list item, Kevin. What is it? I want to attend the Masters. I've never been to the Masters at Augusta ah, National. I've Augusta. been to a U.S. Open and I've been to a Super Bowl with my dad. Um, I would have I would have said that I'd love to see one of my teams win a championship, but I've been very lucky in the last two years being from D.C. that the, the Nationals and the Capitals have both won a championship. Oh, that's awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah. So I would yeah I would say that attending the Masters would be my bucket list thing. All right, go Caps, go Nats, and the Azalea Line Fairways of Augusta. Yes. All right. Now, uh, Kevin, people need to reach you probably more than anybody in this association. How do they do it again? You can uh, email me at kevin at rpcra.org, O-R-G. And I'll even toss out my cell phone number for for those who really need that. It's 239-887-0117. I'm great over text or or you can give me a call. I'm happy to chat about issues, about our pack, about anything you'd like to talk about. You will be hearing from me. I'm sure I will be. And some others. And some others. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. And I want to thank you, Kevin, for being here today in the studio with us right down the hall, about what, six feet from your office? Yeah, six feet from so, my office. My first time I've been on a podcast. So thanks a lot for all of you as well. Hey, it's been our pleasure. I hope we met your expectations. You did. Yeah, normally we'd have some swag to give you, but I'm sure you oh, already. I think I've got enough. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, I won't give you a pen. I want to thank everybody here at the association for all their help and support, including our CEO, Beata Jones, our director of marketing, Jerry Johnson, and everyone else here who is always so nice. It's a pleasure to work with these people. And if you'd like to contact us about the show, you can do so by sending an email to shows at rpcra.org. And you can check out our other podcast, Realtor Riff Rap, with host Nick Pagelis. And, of course, our YouTube video series, Realtor's Corner, with Nick and Joanna Rao. Thank you for listening, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for listening to the Royal Palmcast. Tune in again for more episodes and make sure to check out our sister podcast, Realtor Riff Rap, and our video news show, Realtor's Corner, which can be found on the Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association Facebook page and YouTube channel. Sponsorship opportunities for these programs and more coming soon. So stay connected with RPCRA and stay tuned. This has been a production of the Royal Palm Coast Realtor Association.